Some good news for Rangers today at Ibrox as they close the gap to the current champion Celtic. But the bad news is, come about 10 o'clock tonight, that gap is going to open up to double digits, 11 points. Welcome back, guys. The Fog Football and Philippe Clement, he might not make it to 10 o'clock tonight. He could be gone for Glasgow probably in the next 15 minutes because it's another set of points dropped uh, for Rangers this season. First time they've dropped points at Ibrox. And I say that in the, the preview show, I predicted 1-1. I've been saying how Rangers have been very lucky, winning a lot of games by one goal to nil. And sooner or later, your luck's going to run out. And you're going to stop winning these goals by the one goal margin. And that's exactly what happened to Rangers. And also happened to Aberdeen as well. So um, sooner or later, you just cannot win every game by one goal. You're going to be punished. And today, that's what happened to Rangers. They were punished. And I think this is the, the final blow on Clement's Rangers career. Yeah, the cry today was snow surrender. There was a lot of snow. This game went ahead. Fair play to all the fans, the travelling support. Can they fans. get it postponed now, or is it too late? I think it, is, is it too late? I think it might be too late, but I'm not kidding you. This was awful, right? 13 days ago, they played like this against Hearts. They picked up a narrow win, right? Clement style of football is awful. There's no coming back for this. You know, it's like old Yeller. Take him round the back of the barn, give him one last wee bit of hay, and then put the shotgun through his skull. That's pretty much what needs to be done here. I don't know what Clement's hay is, but you know what? I, I'm, I'm sick to death of, of coming on. The, the style of football is just putrid, man. See, talk about that for two hours. I'd, I'd actually, I've been at funerals that have been better than that game. That's not even an exaggeration. Which ones? A curiosity, any, like any funeral. Oh, there you go. Any funeral's better than that because at least funerals provide decent food. Right. Let's provide it hee haw. This was nothing. There was nothing good about this game of football from Rangers, man. Nothing like the starting eleven. All right, yeah, it's, Tav didn't start right, which is for me a positive, right? But as we've said, yeah, you want rid of Tav, you want it rid of Goldson, you want rid of Barisic, you want rid of Long Longstrom, you want rid of Jack, you want rid of Roof. But guess what? Seeing you get rid of them, you need to have, you know, the adequate replacements. And the people that have come in have not did the job. See Tav not starting the day. That's not going to fix all the Rangers' problems, is it? Because football's not a one-man team. No, it's not. I mean, Rangers fans, some fans seem to think that you get rid of Tav and all of a sudden you're going to start winning 10 games in a row and challenge Celtics. I think it's more than Tav that's the problem. Right, yeah, and obviously today proves that. Anyway, let's get into the game of football, right? Rangers kick off. Um, it, it, there's a few long shots for, for asking. He's got two. He blazes them over. Thought he looked a bit all right. Yeah, they looked a wee bit impactful as well. Here, a cross forced into a save. Connor Barron then has a shot from the edge of the box. He blazes over. But see all these shots, right? I'm talking about 18, 25-yard shots, right? Teasing, troubling no one. The goalie had a really good game the day for Dundee United. He is not troubled at any point by these. Cherney, he whips a free kick into the box um, and it's just parried away. It's saved quite comfortably. I thought Cherney, actually one of the few players in the Rangers shirt today that can probably hold his hands up. Because when you actually look at it, like I mean, I think Cherney has... He, he, what do you mean hold his head up? Well, I say his chin. Hands. It's held his hands up. Yeah, he can hold his head up, but... The, Hold his chin, his hands, his head. He can hold all... Your head's gone, I think. I swear, I think your head's just completely Do you want to enlighten us what happened in this game of football, then? My head's that, gone, you take it. I, I wouldn't watch this shite, man. This is dire. So you wouldn't watch this shite? Fair enough. But anyway, right. This is when business picks up. Bizrami, he curls it. He curls an effort at goal. It is saved by the big goalie in the next Jack Walton, who I thought, I would give him man of the match. I mean, I get, who I give man of the match to in my stream? I give it to, uh, I actually give it to Cherney, but yeah, I wasn't factoring in Dundee United players, but for me, Jack Walton was man of the match, but a good save from Bajrami from the big man here. And then Dolby, he makes it 1-0. So pretty much the ball is whipped in. John Souter, it's not his fault. Then you've got Proper, and in between Proper... And Yefty, you could literally have parked the Dundee United team bus, man. The gap is so big. It is a free header, six yards out. Butland, right, doesn't exactly fill himself here with, like, the, you know, the, the, it's not... Butland just falls to his arse here. But what can he do, man? Six yards out and you're gifting a free header. It's unacceptable defending. And it's something that Tav would do. But guess what, folks? Tav wasn't even playing the day. You can't blame Tav. No, you can't blame Tav. No, it was a long offside check. It was close, but it was onside. No complaints. Level. 
Nah, I was, I was, I was slightly closer to on than level. We catch my drift. I mean, I, I don't understand why it took three minutes. But so that it was is, on side then? Yeah, it was on side. I, I don't understand why people with VAR, uh, well, I don't understand why far just takes this long. Like, you, you have one look. It should take 30 seconds, but it literally took three minutes. Don't understand that. But for whatever reason that happened. Then Rangers get a goal of their own. Connor Barron handballs it. He whips it into the box. Proper manages to get his dome onto it. And then replay show. Clear handball by Connor Barron. Uh, this was a bit more obvious, dare I say, than the uh, the previous VAR check. And then that happens that way. And holy shit! I need to interrupt this because that was a, just a brutal red card there. Well, we can't really see anything. The fog at Dens Park is insane. There's more fog at Dens Park than there is on this channel. So I don't know that's what's happening here. Fog. That must but be. that's uh, oh, it looks like a beat has just been sent off. Breaking news here. I just seen it at the corner of my eye. That looks oh. horrendous. Oh, wait, no. Dundee players don't look... That could be a... That could be a... Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, that's a red, man. Uh, that's a, that's a red, Kenny. I just seen it at the corner of my eye there and I saw the ref. Oh. Yeah, that's a, his ankle could have been snapped in half. Ah, uh, that's a red. And you know what? It's not even that high. It's just... You've got to feel sorry for Davy Gray, though, because the 1-0 up, tough away day... There's no, that's not getting... But you know what? Up. That doesn't look like... A, that only looks bad because there's contact made. But I think, I think you have to... I think contact does matter. See see if he doesn't make contact around there. No one's even looking at that and going, oh, that was high because it didn't even look that high. But you, when you catch a player in that... Yeah, it could have been an ankle snap or that. That's... Aye. Aye, he's got to be sent off. Anyway, back to the Rangers game. Uh, Dessos has a shot... Blocked, and then that takes into half time. So Rangers are one 0 down. The booze are ringing out. You know, it's it's the same old routine here. And as we said in the preview show, you can't keep winning games by one goal because eventually it's going to come back to bite oh, you. Oh wait, hold on. What was your prediction? Did you not go with we, we a wee cheeky channel two one favorite? I did, but I said you can't win games by two. Okay. I, I said you can't win games by one goal all the time. And it looks like one one to me, mate. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what. I bet one one. <laughs> But, but be, fucking yeah, Motherwell fucked be. me, didn't they? So, oh, well, yeah. Motherwell, yeah. Right. Yeah, anyway. Um, right, second half begins, right? Well, what do you, what's thoughts on Dessers and the yeah, man getting taken off at half time? Uh, well, Dessers had one touch in 45 minutes, so. Yeah, but yeah, that's not a good look, is it? No, it's not. Game one day's fucking wank. Yeah, I know, but I mean, t getting taken off at half time, I, I guess you could say at least Clement made changes. We have the oh, game to go, but... Oh, well done, come on, he made changes. Fuck about wait, about six months too late. Nah, I know, but I'm just saying it's... Uh, you, you think maybe trailing a game, his thought would be, here, keep Dessers on and bring somebody else on alongside Aye, two, him. Two strikers up front or something? That's, that would have been just what I was thinking. If he's going to bring Danilo on, maybe leave Dessers on as well and, and see if those two can do something. But, he, I mean, he didn't do that. Also, what do you, what do you think... De Dessler seems like a cry. See, when he's sitting on the bench, do you think he's secretly hoping that Rangers don't win this because it makes him look shite? I don't know how Dessler thinks, but I know how he shoots and it's shite, so if it's anything similar to that... Then well, maybe. I know, but he doesn't like getting taken off, but he's not he's not one of these players that can have an issue with getting taken off because he has crap. No. No, I, I tend to agree with that. Uh, what would you say with this opinion that Davy Gray looks like Tywin Lannister if he had all his facial hair and head shaved? A younger fair, isn't he? He does a wee bit, doesn't he? I clocked at the corner of my eye there as well. Aye, anyway, I think I think Hibs will be put to the... I don't think they'll be sitting on the throne by the end of this match. No, Rangers are not on the throne either. But into the second half, John Souter, he hits the side netting. Dundee United then have a second... Uh, I mean, they could have made it second, 2-0, uh, but they didn't. Uh, just blaze wide. Uh, free header, another free header in the six-yard box. They really need to make them... If they go 2-0 up, they win the game. Aye, because Rangers don't look like scoring a goal, and there remain two goals, so... Yeah, uh, ball gets cut back, I can't remember who it was from, but Danilo, he misses the open net. Uh, ball is then played into Danilo, he then finds Flo Cacchione, who, you know, finesses it into the bottom left-hand corner, that seems to be his favourite like, sort see, of goal. Like, see between Danilo and Dessers, are you not talking about £10 million pounds worth of strikers? Yep. Easy, probably over £10 million. In terms of what or they 11, paid for? Ten and a half, eleven. and a half, yeah. And But what have you actually got? Two not, duds. Not a lot. Like. I thought Danilo was all right when he came on, right? Yeah, he missed this chance, but you know what? He could have had two assists, and he did get an assist because he found Chirney and we made it 1-1. Yilmaz then came on for Yefti. I thought he looked really poor. 
Um, then we have another disallowed goal if you look at Chioni. Danilo found him again. This was clearly offside by about five yards. Why this even bothered going? But Chioni looks like one of the only bright sparks, in, and he, he has for a while. No, no. Again, we, we did criticise him earlier on the season, like, but I think over the last month, six weeks, he has stepped up. No, I you feel like if someone's going to create something or break the deadlock or get Rangers back into a game, it's going to be him. Yeah. Then the 79th minute, Igamani got brought on for Bushrami. Then after this, there was an insane double, triple save for Jack Walton. Uh, I mean, who was involved here? There was Danilo, there was Haji, there was Igamani. Do not know how the ball didn't go in the back of the net. But I think, crucially, James Tavernier didn't even get brought on in this game. And I think this could be the ending of an era. Or, well, it, could, or it could just make Clement realise here. I need to have. I might may as well start the guy because we're shite without him anyway. D- double down on the stubbornness. I mean, it could. Uh, I thought Tab would have got brought on considering Rangers chasing the game, even with eight minutes to go. I mean, you could have brought Tab on and played him up front, couldn't you? At that point, because we know that Tab's a good striker of the ball. Yeah, could have done He's something. got an eye for goal. I, I, I mean, uh, there's worse players that you could have a chance fall to at the end than Tavernier. He's probably one of the guys you want a chance to fall to the most, in all honesty. No, I, I, I'd absolutely agree with that. And then the game ended. The boos, you know, carried out, played out the way they were expected to play. Yeah, out. I mean, Clement, what Mike, I mean, he'll, he'll probably come out and talk about XG and corners and how they rescued a point, but. See, for me, there, there is no rescue at a point at home against a team like Dundee United. This is just two dropped. The question is, are you going to drop two or are you going to drop three? In the end, Rangers drop two, but I, I, I don't think a, a draw here somehow takes the pressure off Clement or saves Clement. This draw, I think, has the exact same impact as a defeat does. The only way Clement comes out of this, I think, unscathed, would be if Hearts beat Celtic the night. And even then, it's like, he's relied on another team to basically save him there's nothing he's doing he's dropped two points today at home there's no ifs or buts you can turn it however way you want but it's two points dropped isn't it no it's two points dropped and you know all I'm going to think about but if, he'll if probably Hearts win the night I'm going to be fit well it should be six it right? should be six not eight but I, knowing Clement I think you know come out with some sort of we gained a point the day bullshit Probably, to be honest. Anyway, guys, that is it for this match with you. It's not, it's not looking good. Rangers bring it down to eight, but, I mean, well, they bring the gap down to Aberdeen to eight. The good news for them is, I mean, they're definitely taking points off Aberdeen this weekend. Bad news for them is the likelihood is they're, they're going to, the gap to Celtic's going to be 11. Yeah, and you know what, right? I think even under Clement, there's still a really good chance that Rangers get in front of Aberdeen. It depends how bad Aberdeen become after this defeat. I seriously think you can see him at the end of the season saying it's a good season because we caught Aberdeen. I can just picture that. Yeah, I, I mean, a lot a lot of people are making it as if Aberdeen are nailed on for second. We'll see how they respond to this defeat today, but I believe I actually believe Rangers are still marginal favourites to finish second. Now I bet Aberdeen to finish second, but I, I think I, I guess it's probably close to a coin toss. But I do think that Rangers are probably still the slight favourites. And despite Rangers having a really bad result today, at home, dropping points, they've still gained a point in Aberdeen. No, absolutely. But yeah, that is us, guys, for this review. We more follow it. Fans react. Um, Plus, i tell you what, see when international break's now gone until March, and you've got the football coming thick and fast. There's nowhere to hide. Yeah, eight, eight points can quickly... Disintegrate. Yeah, eight points. But it can also go to like 16. Eight points is a big gap, right? When you're see when you're eight or nine points behind Celtic, that's a big gap because Celtic just very rarely lose. Yeah. Eight points behind Aberdeen are not like Celtic. Aberdeen could easily lose a few games in a row. What? If Aberdeen, if, if Rangers win those few games in a row, they, they've caught up already. So, yeah, I mean Aberdeen, enjoy your eight point lead, but we'll see how long you can keep it. As for the title, I think we can all say it's officially over now. I mean that from both teams. Both teams. Yeah, it doesn't matter, man. Even if even if Hearts right beat Celtic the night, it doesn't really change anything in my eyes. Today was more about Aberdeen slipping up. Yeah, and they didn't look good. No, they had the post last minute, but here a draw still. But here going to Paisley, it's tough. No, we did say that, and I I, I did envision them predicting Aberdeen two one one, but I wasn't confident. Like I thought it could have went either way, and if. 
I don't think it's not a bad result for Aberdeen, but if you want to put in a title challenge, then you know, it is a bad result. Absolutely right, guys. That's it. We'll be back soon. Peace.